All right, so for all you new guys, let's get you up to speed. This is my 740T5 engine swap project. This is my B5254T five cylinder turbo engine that is going in this 740 instead of the B230F. Now, uh, I assembled this engine not long ago and I got a comment on the tensioner that I tightened it the wrong way. And uh, I agree with him, I did tighten it the wrong way. So I thought, let's just make a video of the entire cam setup with the VVT, the pulleys, the belt, everything, and we're just going to do it according to Volvo original instructions. All right, step number one, install the upper camshaft belt cover, check. Turn the crankshaft clockwise until the markings on the crankshaft and camshaft pulley correspond. Now what they mean by that is that the marking down here, because there's a marking, I will show you that later, and there's a marking right here, it's very subtle. But there's a little bit of an indention right here and the same on the exhaust there's a small indention somewhere right there very very small uh, so these markings right here and right here should line up with the, the small markings in the cam belt cover here so we're gonna pull the engine clockwise until we get to these markings right here so that they all line up something like that that one lines up this one lines up and this one lines up step number two turn the crankshaft a further quarter of a turn clockwise then back counterclockwise until the markings correspond which means we're gonna turn it a quarter this way like so and then we're gonna back it up until we hit the markings again which would be about right there Remove the upper camshaft belt cover. Okay, step number three. Slacken off the belt tensioner center screw slightly. Hold the center screw still and turn the tensioner eccentric clockwise with a 6mm Allen key to 10 o'clock. Remove the camshaft belt from the belt tensioner, camshaft pulley and idler pulley. All right, so it's time to remove the VVT and we're going to head to the back side of the engine and put the cam locking tool in place. So let's do that. All right, so let's start by removing the cam sensor here on the exhaust cam because we only have one VVT on this engine. Uh, it's held in place by two 10 millimeter bolts. Pop this off. You're also going to want to remove this thing right here. Now inside here you're going to find a 10 millimeter bolt. And there we go, because you want that exposed. And you're going to want to remove the cover here on the intake side. Uh, you can just take a screwdriver, knock a hole in here and pull it out. Alright, that's those things off. I'm going to be using this toolkit. Uh, all links are in the description below. And we're going to use this to lock our crankshaft and the camshaft. Next, let's install the exhaust cam portion of this uh, special tool. Carefully turn the exhaust camshaft clockwise with the camshaft adjustment tool until the intake camshaft tool can be applied. Screw the camshaft adjustment tools together as illustrated. All right, so let's turn this a little bit. And then we install the intake side of the locking tool. All right, so that is the cam locking tool in place. Was a bit of a struggle. Uh, really low quality stuff. Not really gonna recommend this, but I'll still link it in the description below if you wanna check it out. But yeah, I would guess, you know, hiring the, the original tool that Volvo makes would make you a lot happier because this was really, really low quality, but we got it in there anyway, so. All right, next step, the plug at the front edge of the variable valve timing unit. It's a Torx 55, and we're talking about this cover right here. This is actually a plug, or a, like an, if you imagine, like an oil plug. 
So this is basically the same thing. So we're going to start by removing that. And then we're going to remove another T55 Torx inside of here. That would be impossible to do without the cam locking tool. I have no idea how you would go about doing that because that thing was really on there. And then we pull the whole unit out. All right, so it's quite on there. Now we're going to remove the intake side of the pulley here. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of this off the tensioner and the pulley itself just to make sure we start from zero here again. All right, so it's day two now. I uh, had to go inside, charge all the batteries and stuff and it got kind of late, So, but here I am again. Uh, taking off everything here now. The tensioner, the harmonic balancer, I think that's what it's called, the thing, that, the thing that's on the crankshaft here. I've taken that off. I put this special tool in, in order to hold the crank so that it doesn't turn when getting this nut off. Uh, link in the description. Uh, so what we're going to do now is lock the crank. So we're going to turn the engine sideways now and I'm going to show you how to install that. All right, so this is the crank locking tool. Looks like this. Has a kind of a flat edge on this side and can only go in one way. And you do it, you insert it right here behind the starter motor. The starter motor sits right here. Uh, so you gotta take that off obviously if you don't have it like I do in an engine stand. And then you will reach this bolt right here. It's an eight millimeter hex. So just pop that out. You take the tool and insert it with this section right here upwards because you can't put it in like that because it'll hit the block so you turn it like that and you pop it in now you want to be observant of one thing here that I'm going to show you all right it's kind of hard to show you guys this but here you go here's the tool slides in like so but as you can see it doesn't really bottom out this is supposed to be all the way in so what I'm going to do is turn the crank a little bit. Now if I look at the crank, it looks like it needs to uh, come a little bit more clockwise. So I'm gonna do that while pushing the tool in. And there we go. Now we back the crank up onto the tool. And there you go. Now the crank is locked in position and can't move. And with the crank lock in place, the cam locks in place, we can go ahead and reinstall the BBT. All right, so let's reinstall all this. And what it says on here is to slacken off, but do not remove the screws which secure the timing gear pulley to the variable valve timing unit. Now, I interpret that like we need to remove these three screws, not remove, but you know, undo them so that we can move this gear around on top of the BBT. So let's get these undone. All right, so now, now I have loosened these three bolts so we can move this freely on top of the cogs right here. Uh, so now I guess we're gonna install it. All right, and now we take the VVT unit with the gears on it and we push it on here again. Hopefully it'll go on easier than how it came off, although it doesn't seem like it. Why is that so difficult to get on there? All right, so we just loosely put that on there. See, it just turns, it's not connected. Turn the timing gear pulley clockwise until the screws at the oval holes are in the limit position. Turn the timing gear pulley clockwise. Okay, so I guess it's, you know, I turn the timing gear pulley clockwise, right? Turn it like that and they're at their limit. So I can't turn this no more, it's at the limit. All right, 
continue turning clockwise until the timing gear pulley marking is one cog before the marking on the upper timing cover. So about right there, I would guess. Check that the timing gear pulley is still in the limit position in the oval holes. Yes, it is. Tighten the center screw in the variable valve timing unit to 120 newton meters or 88 foot pounds. Check that the variable valve timing unit does not rotate when tightening. Install the center plug. Tighten to 35 newton meters or 26 foot pounds. All right, let's do it. So now we're gonna tighten this center bolt here without turning this. We're going to tight, tighten it to 120 newton meters. All right. It did spring a little bit, but I can see, I saw that it was springing in the back here as well, so I guess that's all right. I'm going to install the center plug. And we're going to tighten that to 35 newton meters. All right, next step. Install the timing gear pulley on the intake camshaft with two screws, but do not tighten. Check that the markings on the timing gear pulley and the upper timing cover correspond. And that corresponds. Snug these down, but not tighten them. See, I can still move this around. And now it tells us to install the timing belt. So let's do that. This is almost, this is almost impossible to do by yourself. I'm gonna show you guys my own way of putting this thing on because putting it on the Volvo way is almost impossible. Uh, so let's put the cam belt around the crank pulley and the tensioner like that. You wanna pull on it a little bit, make sure it's tight. Then when you get up here, you wanna make sure that this is aligned, which it's not. It needs to go one cog over. There you go. You still got tension on the belt right here, that's very important. And you pull the belt over, make sure you have a tension on it right here. Make sure that's tight. Make sure that's up. And then you wanna get your screwdriver, or your, your socket, your 10 millimeter socket. Pull the bottom one here, tighten that up a little bit. And then you pull this around the water pump now we're going to make sure that this one gets to where it needs to be, which is bottoming out this spring function right here. You see that this is, there's a spring in this VVT, as you can see, and you want to bottom it out while this gear is aligned with the markings up top. So you align the markings with tension on the VVT. And there you go. That's looking good with tension. It's looking really good. It's nice and straight up here, nice and straight up here. Now we're not gonna do anything more with that. We're just gonna let that go. Make sure the belt is on there. Now we're gonna tighten up the tensioner. Once again, make sure the belt it's, is in its correct position. And then we're gonna get the tensioner. You wanna hold the center screw while you're putting the tension on it. Now on these, you have an arrow. This is where I failed and got a comment on it because I tightened it the wrong way. It will tighten both this way and the other way, but I tighten it this way and that's the wrong way. You're supposed to tighten it this way, counterclockwise. So you do that and you want to tighten it a little bit more than you should. You tighten it up. There you go. Now, where's that? Go back here. We tighten this thing up. No, actually we don't. We let go of this, so this is all loose again, free to move. 
make sure tension's out. And then we can see, okay, that's up, that's up, good. Then we put tension on this. There we go, that's bottoming out. So you have it at the bottom out position. We'll tighten this down. You want to tighten all of this up. I'm going to tighten that up properly later. All right, so that's it. That's the belt on there. Now we need to make sure that the tension gets set properly. Like I said, you want to do it, you want to get that in the middle right here. So just about right there. That's where you want it. You tighten it up. Now we turn the engine over twice. But before you turn the engine over, don't forget to get rid of the Cam locking tool and crank locking tool, or you won't get anywhere. I'm just gonna temporarily put the nut back on here. So you wanna make sure that these uh, alignment marks come back up. Okay, so here's the marking on the crank. It's looking good. Mark up here, it's looking good. Mark up here, it's looking good. So everything is checking out. All right, this is how I chose to do it uh, to make it easier when you're working by yourself. Uh, if you do it the Volvo way, then the results are exactly the same. I can see that the bolts are in the same place and everything, so it works both ways. Um, but this way works easier if you're by yourself because uh, I guess Volvo has more special tools that you put on here that will hold the tension for you and stuff like that but I mean I would need four hands to be able to do it the Volvo way so this is my way and it's working just fine uh, if you have any comments please put them down below and if you like this video please press the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. How to get? Hi!